There's a ton of reasons why you should play the cycle game whether you are a TF2 player or not. So I'll show you some of the reasons you absolutely should be playing this game. But after the 10 second intro. First of all, like Team Fortress 2, it's a free game so you don't waste money trying to experience it. It's the first person shooter with PvE and PvP action so you don't have to choose between either of them. The devs also handle the PvE and PvP very intelligently. Let me show you how, but you have to stick around till the end. Spoiler, they have added unlimited ammo in this game. First you are dropped off on a planet in a capsule ship of some sort with only a secondary weapon which is a pistol, but you can choose which pistol to carry in the crafting section, we'll come back to it later. Now with the pistol, you have to kill some AI enemies, mobs or creatures, whatever you want to call them. And after killing a certain number of mobs, you get money, with which you can buy new and better weapons and tools from the shop that will help you out to take on other players and harder mobs. So you can win fights with players unless you also do PvE and kill mobs. Now, the thing is, this game, although might seem like it, is not a battle royale. You have to complete contracts in this game, shown on the left side of the screen, to gain credits. The team with the most amount of credits win the game, if you manage to evac off the planet. You see there's a timer on the screen and it counts down to zero. When two minutes are left, the evac ship lands on the planet, shown on your map, and you go there to get off the planet. Although, you can play this like a battle royale and be the first person in the server. You can still lose the game by not going to the evac. So when you're starting off as a beginner, don't be aggressive, do the contracts and get to the evac with all the materials you have collected on the planet. If you get killed before you go to the evac, you'll lose all the materials. You have one respawn in the game, so when you die, you are teleported to where you were first spawned. Now once you have collected all your stuff and get to the evac, you have to come back to the main menu and then proceed from there. Now if you have been enjoying my content, please make sure to like the video and press the sub button if I earned it. It really helps a lot. You can also hit the bell if you wish. Lol. Ha. Here you will see a lot of similarities with TF2. First we have the Fortuna pass which is the season pass. This and the faction section are the only two things that are not in TF2. Other than that, it's kind of the same. In the season pass, you can either do challenges to unlock stuff in the normal pass or just buy them. Next it's the loadout section. Now do I really need to explain this? Like come on, come on. Moving on to crafting. TF2 also has this. It allows you to basically craft weapons, gadgets, abilities and kits. There are tons of abilities to choose from like teleporting to making shields. Gadgets include traps, healing shots and turrets. Man, you don't get to say turrets my boy. Those are sentries and you would be damned if I didn't play this game as an NG main. Also you can upgrade the sentries levels, that's something. And also you can upgrade other stuff's levels too. You can also see the materials you have not collected and have collected and vehicles too. For now you have only one type of vehicle but I'm sure they'll add more vehicles soon. Next we have the factions, don't mind that, just see a beginner's guide for this game. Next. We have dress up or appearance, totally original idea, lol. Just like TF2, you can change classes and how they look, how your car looks and your ship. And you also got emotes. And last but not least, we have the shop, where you basically dump your money, do a favor and don't dump your money, instead just give them to me, I'll make good use of them, XT. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. If you want to help support the devs, please do so. This game has basically zero publicity whatsoever. Anyway, this was my list on why you should play the PvEVP game cycle. You got the loadout section, then you got crafting, emotes which are taunts basically. You can also play competitively on duos or squads, kill some bots or enemies which is like the MVM. And you also have your own sentry which you can upgrade. And there are classes too. Also if you're tired of TF2 and want something new with current level graphics which is not 10 years old then there you go you can play this game unless you have a bad graphics card then just stick to TF2 I guess. Now the next video I will post will be after like 
two months or so because my exams which is on March will continue for a month and I need to study and stuff so please be patient if you want to see my content and uh, thanks for watching and I'll be back after a few weeks lol bye bye